Atop that, you have this uh, new movement by Durbin to get, make every supplement company register. So you've got costs upon costs upon costs, risks that are higher, and, and this adds to what? It adds to the cost of the products. You have to pass it on to the consumers. It limits, right. the, it limits the variety of products in the marketplace so consumers have less op- fewer options. It increases unemployment in a sector that is the, 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 the quintessential medium to small uh, business uh, sector that is responsible for the growth of the economy. So you, you, you crush it. So you add to unemployment. That's that's the thing. I mean, we are we are in an economic time right now where jobs are scarce, where industries are leaving America, and we have we have an abundant natural health supplement industry that's contributing tens of billions of dollars to the economy. And now this industry is under threat of being essentially crushed, or a large part of it, based on these regulations. It's almost as if they're they're li- literally just trying to destroy our economy and our health at the same time well for those who want the end to be that the government the parasite that is government to suck the life's blood out of everything that is private that that pays the bills for the government they'll achieve a collapse of the private sector at this rate <clears throat> now they're going to find the hard reality of destroying the private sector is, is self-destruction for the parasite but that's a way off in the interim they're going to seize as much power as they can and this is the durban plan this is the method by which he hopes, and, and several in the administration, he's the fellow senator with, uh, with Obama from Illinois. This is their goal. Their goal is to make the private sector function only in the way they, they uh, plan and to eliminate freedom to the extent that it, it, it works for something they either disagree with or don't understand. In the case of the supplement market, Durbin has a very shallow understanding of nutrition, and he thinks that it's all filled with a bunch of quackpots, and the people who use supplements have got to be out of their mind. All right, hold on, hold on, Jonathan. I tell you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for nutritional supplements, and I certainly wouldn't be able to to, to be here uh, doing doing this show, filling in for Alex, if it wasn't for supplements. Well, of course. We got, and, and the, the we got to take a, a break. And there's some fifty thousand. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Jonathan. We got to take a quick break here, but will you please stay with us? Join us again on the other side of this break. I want to ask you a couple more questions. We have more information to cover. Stay with us, folks, here on The Alex Jones Show. We will talk more with health freedom attorney Jonathan Emord on the other side of this break. All right, we are live back here on The Alex Jones Show. Thank you for tuning in today. We've got more here in the closing segment. But it's been a great show already, hasn't it? All kinds of information. And in this segment, we are joined by health Freedom Attorney Jonathan Emord. He's been breaking down the situation with us on the Dietary Supplement Labeling Act, the FDA's new regulations to try to approve or deny any supplement ingredients that have been introduced since 1994, as well as additional information on the implementation of the Food Safety Modernization Act, which really should be called Throw the Farmers Back to the Stone Age Act, because that's what it's really doing. Jonathan, are you still with us on the phone? I am. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks for joining us today. I got to ask you, what hope do we have as freedom loving individuals to take back control over our food, over our medicine, to have health, freedom and First Amendment rights for our dietary supplements? What can we do to win this fight against tyranny? Well, in, in my book, The Rise of Tyranny, I explain the way back to liberty at the end of the book. And, and I explain this whole problem. We started with a country that was a republic, a constitutional republic, the most brilliant construction in the history of mankind uh, in government. And that was because it placed sovereignty with the individual. It trusted that the individual would be responsible for the existence of the government. Just governments are instituted among men to protect the rights of the governed, our Declaration of Independence says. And just governments exist only based on the consent of the governed. Well, sovereignty has been wrenched from the individual and placed in the hands of bureaucrats in Washington. We've transformed this republic into a bureaucratic oligarchy. Nine-tenths of all federal laws, not the product of those we elect, but the product of the unelected heads of the bureaucracy. That is the gist of the problem. And the solution to the problem lies in reversing that. And there is legislation that I've written for Ron Paul that would do that very thing. Uh, and there's also legislation on these health issues that would get the FDA out of this business of second-guessing consumers and their right to determine what is in their own best interest. 
Now, uh, real quickly, how can people stay in touch with you, or do you have an email newsletter or something, a website? What, how can people learn yes, from the you? The website is emord.com. Okay, and, E-M-O-R-D. Uh, E-M-O-R-D.com. All right, and I, I hope you have, I hope your email list is growing, and folks, if you want to be part of this, Go to emord.com. Stay, stay tuned in with what Jonathan is doing. Jonathan could be the guy who can legislate our way to freedom. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, to author the legislation that gets passed as a pathway to our freedom. And I, I, we're just about out of time here, Jonathan. So let me just thank you right now for coming on the show today and sharing your thoughts with us. You are just a beacon of truth and liberty out there. I really want to wish you uh, an, an amazing year of achievements in fighting for our health freedom. Well, let's hope and pray that our liberty will be restored to us. Well, we were it, born a free people. We should remain that way, and we have to take back our liberty. We have to vote out of office the bad rascals, Mike. We second that here at the Alex Jones Show, and I'm sure all the listeners do as well. Thank you for joining us. And folks, check out his website at emord.com and his book, The Rise of Tyranny, is really, really a great book. Now, I just want to recap what we've covered here today very quickly so you get a, a big picture view of, of what we're talking about here. We talked to Julie Bass, remember, the gardener from Oak Park, Michigan, being threatened with jail time for her crime of growing organic vegetables in her own yard and teaching her children how to grow seeds as well, because that's a crime. Well, you can't grow vegetable gardens in your front yard, but as Jeffrey Smith brought us in the second hour of today's show, you can soon plant genetically modified grass and spray your lawn with Roundup. Oh, yes, we're going to have Roundup chemicals in neighborhoods all across America. We heard from Paul Joseph Watson. We heard from Aaron Dykes and, of course, Jonathan Emor just in that segment right there. Thank you all. Thanks for joining us today on The Alex Jones Show. I'm Mike Adams, the Health Ranger. Hope to join you again soon. The show goes into replay right now. Thanks and take care. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.